Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, uh, Houston. Okay, at your convenience, uh, we have an item to give you which will have to be copied. It's uh, information on how to photograph Comet Bennett at time 32 hours GET. Over. Okay, stand by one minute. Okay. Okay, Vance, go ahead. Okay. Time, <clears throat> 32 hours, zero, zero minutes, GET. Instructions, at completion of P-23, maneuver to following attitude, roll 101.0, pitch 0900, yaw 000. Point zero. High gain antenna angles will be pitch minus two three, yaw nine three. Use normal PTC procedures to dampen rates. After vehicle stable and before spin up, take photographs of Comet Bennett. Use the DAC on the sextant with magazine G. That is <clears throat> very high speed black and white film, right? That's the uh, dim light film. Take three photos, one each at 5, 20, and 60 seconds time exposure. Use auto optics. Noun 88 values are R1 plus 34717 R2 Minus 08028. R3. Plus 35075. <clears throat> Take three photos, one each, at 5, 20, and 60 second time exposure using manual optics. Shaft will be zero 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 point eight degrees. Trunion twelve point five degrees. Comment strip off about fifty frames, uh, that is two seconds of uh, at 24 feet per second before the first frame and after the last frame of the photos. That is uh, two, second, two seconds at 24 frames per second before the first frame and after the last frame of photos. Uh, is that it, man? And that's all. Okay, uh, the time uh, is, uh, this event will be at 3200, uh, and uh, we're to maneuver to uh, the following attitude, roll uh, 101.0, pitch 090.0, yaw, all zip. High gain angles uh, will be pitch minus 23, yaw 93. And uh, we're to uh, use normal PTC uh, procedures to damp the rates. And after uh, damping the rates and before spin up, we're to uh, put the DAC on the sextant with the magazine G, very high speed uh, black and white film. Then uh, we're to take three photos, one each at 5, 20, and 60 seconds time exposure using audio.
Auto Optics. Uh, down 88 values, R1 uh, plus 34717, R2 minus 08028, R3 plus 35075. Uh, that's uh, three more photos, uh, one each at 5, 20, 60 seconds time exposure, using manual optics. Shaft uh, 0.8 degrees, trunnion 12.5 degrees. And uh, we're to take a two second burst uh, at 24 frames per second before and uh, after these uh, pictures. Your read back is correct, friend. Uh, this is Apollo Control at 31 hours, 13 minutes. We understand the change of shift press conference is ready to begin in the MSC News Center Auditorium. Uh, during the uh, press conference, we'll be recording any conversations with the crew for playback uh, immediately following the change of shift briefing. Uh, we might also add at this point that uh, during the television transmission, which lasted a total of 50 minutes, 41 seconds, uh, among the viewers in the viewing room here in Mission Control were astronaut Fred Hayes' wife, Mary, and his three children, Mary, Frederick, and Stephen. At uh, 31 hours, 14 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 31 hours, 34 minutes. During the change of shift briefing, Flight Director Milton Wendler has been in the process of reviewing the mission status with each of his flight controllers. Uh, we've also had uh, uh, some conversations with the spacecraft. Uh, Vance Brand has given the crew uh, the instructions for photographing the Comet Bennett at uh, 32 hours. This will be done using the data acquisition camera, a 16 millimeter data camera on board the spacecraft. And at this time, Jack Swigert is in the lower equipment bay doing the P-23 exercise, the mid-course uh, navigation using the onboard optical equipment and the onboard uh, computer and guidance system, updating the guidance system with onboard sightings of five stars. Uh, we'll play back the tape-recorded conversations that we have and uh, then stand by for live communications. that you changed the noun 88 values for this last star. It, it looks like they haven't been changed, over. Okay, uh, Vance, uh, let's, let, uh, let's read you what we, uh, what we have. So we uh, have what they had in the flight plan, and if it's been changed from the flight plan, uh, we don't have it. Stand by one. Oh, we think you're right, Van. Uh, looks like we used the same set of uh, 98 for both stars, I think. Okay, very good. Okay, Van, that ought to complete the P-23s, right? Okay, very good, Jack. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, we have some uh, results on your, your first star, if you'd like to hear them. The rest of the stars, we'll, we'll have to uh, give you in a couple of hours, however. Go ahead. Okay, the first star, the corrected altitude, 15 kilometers, plus or minus four. Effective altitude, 12 kilometers plus or minus seven. Uh, as far as uh, substellar point, the value is arc minutes, two arc minutes, and uh, that's very good. And like I said, we'll get back with you in a couple hours for the rest. Apollo 13, Houston. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, we have several items here. Uh, first is a reminder on the PTC that R1 uh, should be 375.375 uh, 375 
degrees as last night to get 0.3 degree rotation rate. Second one. Okay, uh, copy that. Okay, second one at 32 hours, uh, looking at Bennett's Comet. Uh, we want the pictures taken when the spacecraft is uh, as stable uh, as it's going to be before starting PTC. The stability requirement is, is very high. We weren't sure if you understood that from what we passed up. Uh, in addition, uh, the photographs might not show as much as the eye can see of the comet, so if you see anything interesting about the structure of the comet, why sketching it is in order, over, uh, is uh, in order and uh, is uh, encouraged over. Okay, Vince, uh, what we'll do is when we get to uh, attitude, we'll disable the quads and do like we did last night. We'll let uh, Guido and uh, you people down there tell us when you think we're stable enough. Then we'll, uh, we'll do all this work with the uh, uh, DAC on the sextant first, and then we'll put the, when we get that done, we'll go back and put the uh, sextant eyepiece back on and see what we can observe visually. Okay, that sounds good. Also, uh, while you're waiting for the uh, vehicle to stabilize, it might be interesting to have the eyepiece on and be looking at it visually. Okay, next item. Your SPS burn had no anomalies whatsoever. It was a very good burn. Okay, very good. Uh, next item, request hydrogen tank one heater off for balancing purposes. And follow 13, another item. Uh, something that we have observed and you might be seeing is a uh, slight TCE fluctuation on fuel cell 3. Uh, this fluctuation has been going from about 152 to 160 over a 37 second period. It uh, has been seen on other flights in the past. No one is worried about it, but uh, the usual fluctuation is about one and a half degrees instead of the second. Uh, or instead of seven seconds, so thought you should be aware of it. Okay, um, Vance, and one other uh, slight distinction uh, we've noted is uh, the uh, flow uh, hydrogen versus oxygen is not uh, exactly matched on fuel cell three either. Okay, we copy. And the last item, we'd like to send you an iRig update. So at your convenience request, poo and accept. Okay, we're reporting to the panel. Okay. Quad C and D are disabled, man. Roger, disable. And uh, down here, we see that your hydrogen and oxygen on the fuel cell are exactly matched, so we suspect it's uh, purely a spacecraft readout problem. Okay. At this time, the crew is in the process of stabilizing the spacecraft attitude, uh, eliminating all rotational uh, rates in preparation for spinning up the spacecraft for the passive thermal control mode. Uh, before beginning the slow rotation of passive thermal control, Jack Swigert will attach the data acquisition camera to the spacecraft sextant, the 28 power uh, sextant, and will attempt to get some photographs of uh, Bennett's Comet 
he'll take a series of photographs at uh, varying time exposure uh, rates. And he's also been advised uh, if any, uh, any particularly interesting features are noted visually uh, of the comet Bennett, uh, that they should uh, attempt to sketch them. At the present time, Apollo 13 is 125,083 nautical miles from Earth. The spacecraft velocity is 4,571 feet per second. The fuel cell temperature fluc uh, fluctuations, which were mentioned, are occurring in fuel cell number three. Uh, this is a temperature that's measured at the condenser exhaust at the point where the hydrogen reactant uh, is flowing out of the fuel cell and the water is being separated from it. The other two fuel cells are remaining steady at about 157. Uh, when you're through the disk key so we can uh, load down 88. Roger, we'll let you know, Jack. And as we were saying, the uh, two other fuel cells, fuel cell one and two, are remaining stable at a temperature of about 157 to 159 degrees. Uh, fuel cell three is fluctuating between about 152 and 160. Vance Brandt advised the crew that uh, this will cause no problem, with the possible exception that it could trigger a uh, warning alarm uh, to them, but we have seen this sort of thing on previous flights, and uh, it uh, should cause no problem. Apollo 13, Houston, the computer's yours again. The guidance officer has just reported that the spacecraft appears to be uh, approaching a stable attitude. Uh, we expect that uh, would be in a position shortly uh, for the crew to begin and attempt to photograph the uh, Bennett Comet. Okay, you're uh, go for the pictures. Okay, Vance, uh, we tried auto optics and could pick it up there. We're pointing pretty much right into the sun and, and things are pretty well washed out. And I've gone to manual optics and I'm trying to get 0 .8, 12 .5 on the shaft and trunnion, and I uh, still can't pick it up. So uh, it's very light in the section, so I, I kind of think maybe we're too near the sun to see it. That's right, Vance. Uh, the section is all, it's, uh, it's all milky, and it, uh, any uh, comment that could be seen through there is just going to be missed in the, in the background. Okay, uh, we copy that. Uh, we got some discussion. Uh, stand by. Okay, Jack, uh, understand. Just a uh, question. If you look through the telescope, can you uh, see the, the comet at, at all? Over. No, I can't, man. Uh, it's, uh, it's still too light. This is Apollo Control. You heard Jack Swigert advise and Jim Lovell confirm that uh, reflections of the sun off the LAM are apparently uh, washing out the sextant field of view and making it uh, impossible to get a view of the Bennett, uh, the comet Bennett. Uh, 
this problem is being discussed in mission control right now. Uh, Ken Mattingly, who is in the control center, and the flight activity flight, flight activities officer, and uh, Capcom Vance Brown, as well as astronaut Tony England, are uh, huddled around the flight director's console, uh, discussing the possibility of perhaps uh, seeking another spacecraft attitude that might avoid the reflection problem. Go ahead. Are the flowers blooming yet? Uh, gee, I sure haven't seen any. Okay. Hey, we uh, we've got quite a discussion uh, down here on uh, your uh, trying to observe the comet, and this reflection is not unexpected. And uh, give us another minute, and we'll be back with you on something on that. Okay. Uh, I doubt very seriously, though, if we take the, any photographs of the nice deep black and white uh, with uh, the light coming into the section, you're going to get anything out of it. Okay. Uh, unanimous opinion is that uh, uh, you're right, and. Uh, We'll scratch all of this uh, Bennett Comet stuff uh, on the way out with the hope that conditions will be more favorable after TEI. Over. Sounds good. Uh, without the lamp, we might have a better chance. Roger. Okay, Bennett Comet is going to And Apollo 13, your uh, go for PTC, your rates are very low, according to what we can read. Roger, go ahead, uh, request uh, Omni B, Fred, and uh, secure the high gain antenna. Okay, you got it. Okay. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, just something to think about. Uh, in about 30 minutes, we can uh, generate the pads that we have yet to send up before the uh, sleep period, so we could uh, support an earlier sleep period if you so desired. And uh, But it will take us 30 minutes to get that stuff. The other thing is, anytime you're ready to copy, I can read up these solo book changes, over, and also two pages in the flight plan. Okay, uh, Vance, uh, we're about ready to copy the solo book changes and uh, the flight plan uh, changes. And uh, whenever your pads are ready, we'll take those. And uh, as far as moving up the sleep period, that's fine. But we'll, if we don't go to sleep right away, we'll use it to uh, get out some of our lunar uh, maps and study them. Okay, and uh, we'll get busy getting those pads for you as soon as possible then. And I'll stand by on the copying bit. This is Apollo Control at 32 hours, 46 minutes. The crew sleep period is scheduled to begin at uh, 37 hours. You heard Vance Brand advise Jim Lovell that uh, should the crew desire, uh, we would be in a position to give them the uh, pad information that uh, they need to get before beginning the sleep period a bit early and uh, give the, uh, the astronauts themselves the option of uh, beginning their rest period earlier if they desire. 
the primary activities remaining on the flight plan, in addition to passing up those, the uh, uh, numerical data is uh, for the crew to change out one of the lithium hydroxide canisters and uh, complete their pre-sleep checklist and uh, their evening meal. And when those things have been uh, been completed, uh, they would be able to begin the rest period. We don't have any idea at this time uh, precisely when the rest period would begin. That would be up to the uh, to the crew. At the present time, Apollo 13 is 126,900 nautical miles from Earth. The velocity is 4,500 feet per second. Okay, uh, Vance, uh, I'm ready to copy the solo book changes there. Okay. Uh, first turn to page 12. On the right-hand side of the page, starting from the middle of the page down, <coughs> uh, under everything under cycle five frames comma replace dark side or dark slide should be deleted until you get to the very bottom of the page uh, where you have acquisition misfin omni d and that should remain in also uh, leave in remove window shades which is uh, about the third line down from where you start. Okay. Uh, okay, then from uh, cycle five frame, replace dark side from there on down, delete. That's everything from there on down with the exception of remove window shades and at the bottom, acquisition misfin omni D. Okay, copy. And that includes, uh, in the margin to the left, the uh, the DAP load that's uh, at the very start there, and uh, the point 0507 uh, and plus 0500 further down. Okay, got it. Okay, going to page 13. Okay. Okay, uh, in the left margin, uh, just below 105 hours GET, cross out the 0507 and the plus 0500. And below that, add in DAP load as follows, 10111 and 11111. Okay, got it. Okay, now, <clears throat> next, uh, at about uh, 10505, there's a verb 48. That should be moved up to 105. And uh, below that, the verb 49 maneuver should be moved up to. Okay, that verb 48 should be moved up to uh, 10505 and also the verb 49. Uh, that should be moved up to 10500, I'm sorry. Both. Okay. And what that does is uh, give you more time to maneuver. Okay, next. All right. Uh, page 14, right-hand side, near the bottom, under orbital science, <coughs> scratch out, verify DSE on, and also delete uh, visual target three on track, 180 plus uh, 19, and uh, cross out the pinned in D5. Okay, got it. 
Next, page 15. Left-hand column, or left-hand side, rather, near the bottom, uh, where it says configure cameras and tape, and uh, goes down through replace dark side. Just make the comment there, solar corona is optional. Over. Okay, got it. Okay, next page, 16. This is a continuation of the, the same solar corona thing. On the right-hand side of the page, uh, starting just above 10740 with verb 49 maneuver to solar corona attitude. From there on down to 10755, uh, just beneath replace dark side, all of this is in an optional category. So you just might line off All right, got it. that and put optional solar corona. Okay, next page, 17. Okay. Uh, starting at 108.00 on the left-hand side. Line out, stop orb rate at orb science attitude. <clears throat> at uh, line out in the left-hand uh, column, the DAP load of 10101 and 11111. Going down to 10810, add in the following. Stop orb rate at track attitude and in parentheses zero comma three five three comma zero. In the left hand uh, Okay. Okay, in the left hand column under one zero eight ten, put in a DAP load in parentheses of one zero one zero one and under that one 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 one. Okay. Beneath that, scratch out spacecraft control dash CMC auto verify. Scratch out the verb 79 and all in parentheses after that, like the uh, minus 00507, etc. And beneath that, scratch out pro to start pitch rate in parentheses 0230 slash zero one eight comma zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, looking to the right, the lem attitude will or the uh, rather the CSM attitude will be incorrect so you can cross that off. And beneath the picture of the moon, cross out the in parentheses 108.19 and the 0 comma 230 slash 018 comma 0. All right. On the right hand half of the page, <coughs> cross out the orbital science block and under that visual target 1 south of track TR and underneath that the pinned in D two slash three slash four. All right, got it. And beneath that, cross out verb forty nine maneuver to track attitude. Parentheses zero comma three five three comma zero and H U comma S E F. All right. Okay, the, the information beneath that, starting with configure camera, Earthshine photos, down through replace dark slide is optional. So just put in Earthshine 
optional as a comment there. And in the camera uh, settings, uh, in the block that has F2.8, 125, comma, infinity, uh, cross out the 125 and put in 1 8th, 1 slash 8, in other words. Okay, that last one was cross out the 125 and put in 1 8th, is that right? That's affirmed. Okay, next page. No change. Uh, go to page 19. Okay. Okay, on the right-hand side, uh, from the verb 49 maneuver, maneuver to earthshine attitude, down through everything up to misfin uplink, this is optional. This is Earthshine optional. All right, got it. And once again, a camera setting correction uh, up near the top of that section that we called optional where you have bracket MIR F0.9 comma 125, cross out the 125 and put in 1 slash 60. In other words, 1 60th. Over. Okay. Uh, cross out the 125 and put in 1 slash 60. That's correct. And uh, further down at 109.50, where you have visual target 17, etc., cross out that line and cross out the pinned in D17. Okay. Now, move to page 25. Okay, go ahead, man. Okay. At about uh, 114.10, everything under altitude set equals 60 miles should have the, the comment solar corona optional. And in that first line of that optional, where it says verb 49, maneuver to solar corona and limb bright brightening attitude, cross out, and limb brightening attitude. Okay. Going further down to 114.16, cross out the <clears throat> OM4 DAC 18 VHBW limb brightening line and the line under that, which is BRKT, comma, MIR, et cetera. All right. In the block where it says solar corona and limb brightening photos, cross out and limb brightening photos, and uh, just put solar corona optional. Okay, got it. Going... Uh, few lines below that where you see DAC on for four seconds at about 50 frame rate cover lens. Cross that out. Cross out 
29.16, DAC on, SR-40 seconds. Okay. And at the very bottom line on that uh, half of the page should be crossed out, which is 1142956, DAC off, SR. Okay. On the right hand side of page 25, uh, where you have the title Solar Corona and Limb Brightening Photography, cross out Limb Brightening Photography. Okay. And in the figure where you have the uh, DAC LOS line, uh, which is uh, parallel to the X axis on the horizon, cross out DAC LOS parallel to X axis on horizon. All right and cross out the bottom block on that half of the page, which is DAC magazine percent required 12 magazines, G, etc. All right. Next page, 26. Go ahead. Okay, cross out the top line on the right-hand side of that page, which is DAC on for four seconds, 50 frame rate cover lens. And cross out the block to the right of that and down, which uh, has magazine percent. All right, got it. Okay, next, page 28. Ready to go? Okay. On the left-hand side of page 28, at the very bottom, cross out photo target 5, north, frame f5.6, 250, infinity, etc. All of that line over to the vertical strip. And cross out the pinned in E4 below that. Okay, in the next page, 29, right-hand side near the top, uh, cross out photo, target 13, north, F5.6, 250, et cetera, all of that line, and cross out beneath that the pinned in E5 slash 6. All right. Going to page 30 next, left-hand side. At the top, at 127.01, uh, cross out visual target 9 on track 180 degrees plus 0.47, and cross out the pinned in E11 beneath that. Okay. Going down to 127.11, cross out verify DSC on. Beneath that, a ways, cross out 127.14.20, start visual observations of Frau Morrow. All right. Beneath that, cross out continue visual observations and cross out stop observations. And beneath that, Cross out photo target five six on track F eight comma two fifty infinity five etc to the end of that line. Cross out the five point six beneath that and the pinned in E one five. Okay. Over in the margin. Uh, to the left of all that, make the comment, delete visual only. Uh, where was that, Vance? I didn't get that last one. 
Okay, uh, that's still on page 30 on the left-hand side. Uh, in the time mark, uh, on the margin at the left where you have times, just pin in but beneath the 127.10 the following, delete, visual only. That's only a comment. Okay, all right. Okay, going to page 34. Okay. Uh, about on the left-hand side, about almost halfway down, beneath the verb 49 maneuver to topo target 54A, make the comment, target 54A is optional. All right, got it. And uh, next, page 35, on the right-hand side. Um, everything from spacecraft control CMC auto verify on down should be uh, given the comment, zodiacal light photos optional. All right. And... Uh, well, where, where you have the block in the middle of the page that says, uh, the small block that says uh, zodiacal light photos, just put optional in that title, too. Okay. And next page 36 on the left-hand side. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, first a comment. Uh, in the middle of the page is where the z zodiacal light stuff ends, just under uh, verb 48. And then, if you'll go down to the bottom of the page, cross out the line, photo target 12 on track, etc., and cross out the E5 that is below that line. Okay, uh, Bant's uh, breaking a minute. Sure. Uh, we have the... Uh Cryo pressure line on now. The uh, H2 has hit its uh, lower bound. So you want us to go back auto on the um, H2 heater one. Stand by. 13 Houston. All uh, right, go ahead. Uh, they request that you leave that switch in the auto position until you go to bed tonight. Uh, or stand by. I mean, in the on position. Uh, I'll repeat that again. In the off position until you go to bed tonight <clears throat> for reasons that you have a 3% imbalance and uh, they'd, they'd like to uh, get that more even. So just before turning in, we'll change the switch to auto. Okay. Okay, uh, before, uh, before we get away, would you ask uh, FAO something I didn't get briefed on, what the pinned in E5 and those uh, letters and numbers mean? Okay, right. just a minute. Okay. okay, we'll have comments on that. Uh, for you in just a second. Okay. Follow 13 years. Okay, Vance, I'm ready to continue. All right, go ahead. Okay, uh, new subject. I'd like to break in to say that request you reinitialize the PTT, uh, PTC. For some reason, it's gone up to 18 degrees in pitch and yaw both. We don't quite understand this. All we can think of is uh, start it again. Over. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, uh, we are at the 
the end of the changes in the solo book, and I have two pages of changes in the flight plan. Those are pages 3-122 and 3-125. While you're looking that up, we'll put Ken on to answer your question. Okay, I'll start. Let me start back uh, reinitializing PTC here. Okay. Okay, Vance, I'm on uh, 3122, the flight plan. Okay. Okay, about uh, at time 15650, on the right, well, in the right hand half of the page, there's a line which states uh, visual target 16 south 180 plus 111 uh, Cassandi F15. Request you cross out that line. Okay, we're crossing that. That's all on 3 122. Next change is 3 125. Okay, I'm looking at 125. Okay, starting from the top of the page, cross out the first five lines, which are set up camera for contamination and uh, photography, Beetlejuice, CM4, slash EL, slash 80, etc., Mag T, etc., install window shades. I've got them crossed. Okay, then jump down to just about uh, 15928, cross out maneuver to contamination field photography attitude, and all other lines below that through enable thrusters A3, comma, C4, comma, B3, etc. Okay, so we start uh, with maneuver to contamination field photography, and we uh, cross out everything uh, down to and including enable clusters A3, C4, B3, D4. That's correct, and those are all of the flight changes, uh, flight plan changes we have. And Ken is coming on now, and later, sometime when we get the PTC squared away, and it's convenient, I suppose, uh, you should read all these things back to make sure we are squared away on them. Go ahead, PK. Yes, sir. I understand you have a question. Yeah, I guess I, uh, I didn't understand what the, uh, the letter and the number was uh, behind some of these the photo targets. Okay. Uh, Does that refer to a page? Yes, sir, that's, uh, that's the map. Uh, each fold is lettered in the uh, lower or upper right-hand corner as you work your way from uh, east to west. And uh, the charts are labeled uh, D, E, and F, and uh, the solo stuff will all be the D and E, and they change with the uh, plane change one. It's the time to change the two maps. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're doing good work, eh? Well, I had a, had a good uh, prime crewman that taught me all I know. Don't run out. Hey, when Fido gets a good hack on our trajectory, will you let us know? How long are you willing to wait? He's looking at his calendar, if that means anything. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm back at the attitude here, and I'll wait for uh, rates to up, and uh, you let me know when we're stable again. Okay, will do. That uh, last exchange was between Jack Swigert in the spacecraft and uh, astronaut Ken Mattingly, who's been on the Capcom console along with uh, Vance Brand uh, since immediately following the television transmission this evening. 
13 Houston. Go ahead, Deb. Raj, just a reminder, you have to uh, disable Charlie and Delta here as uh, you've done in the past, over. Okay, uh, I was kind of holding off on this. Uh, we're uh, dumping a little wastewater now. Okay. Fido says he, he knew it all along. He, he, he says he's been very concerned that you've been doing a lot of water dumping. Okay, uh, Vance, we got uh, quad C and D disabled. Okay, copy, Jack. This is Apollo Control at uh, 33 hours, 40 minutes. The uh, crew at the present time is still involved in uh, uh, eliminating rotational rates and attitude rates from the spacecraft in preparation for reestablishing the passive thermal control mode. Uh, once they get the spacecraft stable, uh, they'll start it rotating at a rate of about three and three quarters revolutions per hour. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead. Uh, it, it may be a while before your, your rates are settled down. Uh, we're still observing fairly high rates and dead banding over. Okay. Apollo 13, Houston. Okay, we got about three items. First one is uh, all of your P-23 Batch 2 marks have been evaluated. And uh, hey, congratulations, looks real good. They're very happy with it. The, uh, you're down to four arc minutes on the substellar point uh, aspect of it. And uh, that's the first thing to mention. The second is, uh, unless you see a need, I, I don't see any need for you to read back uh, the information we gave you on the solo book and so forth. Do you concur? Roger, I think I got it. I, I remembered a lot of it, and uh, so I think with what you gave me and what I remember, I'm pretty sure we got it right. Okay, and uh, the third item we, uh, I was just about to call it uh, your rates were stabilized to start the PTC, but it looks like uh, you're, they're jiggling around again from a dump, so uh, we'll stand by some more. Okay. No secrets around here. Say again. Hey, that's right. That there's no secrets around here. Yeah, Big Brother's watching. Uh, 13. I can just see ECOB telling Fido. Yeah, you, you really have to watch that pair already. By the way, we have a maneuver pad for you, a uh, flyby pad whenever you're ready to copy. Okay, stand by. Okay, maneuver pad, purpose flyby, SPS, G and N, six three, three eight five, plus zero nine seven, minus zero two three, zero seven two. Two four three three zero eight plus zero two one two seven minus zero one four one seven minus zero two five four eight. One four eight 
0-5-0 N-A plus 0 0 two, two, five. Zero, three, six, zero, nine. Zero, five, three. Zero three five six three 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 five two seven one five zero N A N A N A Starting with latitude minus two three two six minus one six five zero zero one one four seven seven three six one seven two one six six Five four zero two. Comments. GDC align stars are three one Arcturus and two three Denebola. R align two eight eight. Pitch align two zero five. Yaw align zero three four. All age none. Other burn is SPS docked. Lem weight three three four nine nine. Over. That's correct. Uh, want to uh, verify under noun 81 uh, that delta VX is plus 02127. You cut out right there. Uh, Roger. Uh, delta VX is 02127. Uh, Roger. And your rates are low. Uh, looks like you can start the PTC. Okay, and uh, when the computer is available, 
Request Poo and accept, and we'll ship you your state vector. Well, I got PTC going first, and then we'll go to. Okay. Here it comes. You know, somehow, every time I do a set of P23s, you guys uplink me a state vector. I don't think I do too well. Now, I could get a complex. Now, you know, you know how the Fido's are. They, they like to load in their own data no matter what. Houston, it's your computer again. Okay, go on to block. And as a matter of interest, I understand that, uh, that a downrange comparison between the MCC and the computer is within 35,000 feet. And that's on the last sighting, which uh, people think is pretty good. Okay, maybe that gives us a little more confidence. If we had a two P-23s on the way home, we'd make it. No doubt about it. This is Apollo Control at 34 hours, 13 minutes. At this time, the uh, crew has very little left to complete before beginning their sleep period. They still have a lithium hydroxide canister to change out. Following that, uh, we expect they'll begin their eat period. And it's uh, possible that uh, they will begin the sleep period somewhat earlier than the scheduled 37 hours in the flight plan. Our uh, latest estimate on the impact of the S-4B, the Saturn third stage on the lunar surface, is that uh, this event will occur at 77 hours, 57 minutes, 37 seconds. And our uh, current tracking data indicates that the impact point will be 0 degrees, 56 uh, minutes north, 29 degrees, 33 minutes west. Apollo 13 at this time is 130,736 nautical miles from the Earth traveling at a speed of 4,402 feet per second. This is Apollo Control at 34 hours, 42 minutes. Our guidance and control officer reports that the spacecraft appears to be uh, remaining quite stable in the passive thermal control mode. The spacecraft rotating slowly to maintain the proper uh, thermal balance. This is the normal uh, uh, mode for the spacecraft to be in during uh, sleep periods and periods of low crew activity. Jim Lovell advised uh, some time ago, a couple of hours ago, that uh, the crew might uh, begin the sleep period early said if they had any problem uh, getting to sleep, or if they weren't uh, uh, particularly sleepy at the time uh, they finished their other scheduled activities, that uh, they might review some of their lunar charts uh, before turning in uh, for the 10-hour rest period. At this time, Apollo 13 is 131,948 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of 4,368 feet per second. At 34 hours, 43 minutes, this is Mission Control, Houston.
Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, uh, Houston. Uh, just in info on your PTC, Jim. It's looking very good. Uh, just excursions and pitch and yaw are very low. Okay, thank you, and uh, we're going to change another uh, lithium hydroxide canister now. Okay. Ago, he said to, to tell you that he was pacified now uh, after your past uh, comments uh, on his trajectory and, and so forth. And uh, he hadn't seen any uh, wastewater dumps or anything, and he was pretty happy. Okay, I just wondered if uh, we're going to need any more bid cards. Uh, he says, seriously, it's uh, looking uh, probably like you won't have any more. Hey, that's real fine. Uh, Fido's never guarantee anything, however. Yeah, that's right. Roger, go ahead. Okay, bat C, 37, pyro bat A, 37, pyro bat B, 37, RCSA, 97%, B, 97%, C, 96%, D, 97%. Roger, we copy that. Thank you. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, uh, Ram. Uh, Jim, just a, an item for you and Fred to, to be thinking about in case you haven't been briefed on this, uh, something that's uh, now being talked about a little bit. Uh, to be conservative, people would like to have you read out the sheet tank pressure when you go into the limb for the limb familiarization at 58 hours. If there's no uh, mid-course uh, three, and it looks like there's a good chance that there will not be, why they might want to move the LEM familiarization up from 58 to 55 hours. Over. Okay, we don't have a mid-course three, then we'll probably move uh, LEM fam up to 55 hours, in which case we'll go in there and uh, range sheet tank pressure. Raj, along with the other fam stuff, and it's uh, not certain that we want to do this. It's uh, just being talked about, so this is just information for you. Okay, this is beginning to sound like a uh, film that we ran not too long ago. I don't think it'll be a very big deal. This is Apollo Control at 35 hours, 46 minutes. The uh, flight dynamics officer has just recomputed 
a new uh, impact point for the S-4B based on later uh, tracking data. Uh, the current figures uh, predict that the S-4B will impact the moon at a ground elapsed time of 77 hours, 56 minutes, 54 seconds. And the uh, coordinates of the impact are now predicted to be 2 degrees, 35 minutes south and 28 degrees, 31 minutes west. Uh, these continue to be preliminary figures, and we expect that uh, there is a good chance they will be updated as we get uh, further tracking data on the S-4B. At the present time, Apollo 13 is 134,624 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of 4,292 feet per second. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, man. Are you guys uh, hacking into your pre-sleep checklist yet? Oh, we uh, just finished uh, eating and uh, cleaning up a bit afterwards. Uh, Jim's uh, going around collecting uh, debris off of all the uh, inlet hoses. And I guess uh, you might say we're kind of thinking about uh, getting ready to go to sleep. Well, I hope you had a good meal. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Sounds like you guys are really living it up up there. All that music, food. I, I didn't say drink. It is pretty nice. Not bad at all. You're right, you did say it. This uh, PTC we're in is a pretty uh, pretty nice merry-go-round uh, advance. Uh, every uh, 10 minutes, uh, ultimately, I uh, get to look at the Earth and uh, the moon. You couldn't ask for anything more than that. Just saw it uh, isn't so fast. Now it's uh, a lot better. I remember from uh, eight when they didn't hardly ever get to look at either one. That's right. They were tumbling uh, about another axis, weren't they? Yep. Cloudy uh, down there tonight, uh, but the only uh, land I can see again is the uh, portion of Australia and uh, Korea, and looks like a part of China. Just about clouds uh, covering everything else. Uh, can you still see that clearly with uh, the naked eye, or do you have to uh, look through a glass? I could see Australia with a naked eye and uh, the China landmass, but I uh, it took the monocular to pull out the uh, Korean Peninsula. How about the moon? Uh, is it looking very big yet? No, not, uh, not really. Bigger, but uh, we got a ways to go. I understand that uh, they're estimating your uh, para parasynthian, lunar parasynthian is now 62 miles. Well, that's not bad. 
That's supposed to be just right. Yeah. Stand by one on the uh, e-memory dump jack. I think we'll be ready in about a minute. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> ECOM says that uh, as soon as you stir your cryos, uh, request you go back to auto on that uh, one tank. Okay, we'll do that. Thirteen, Houston, we're ready to take your e-memory dump. Okay, uh, coming down. This is Apollo Control at uh, 36 hours, 50 minutes. Uh, during that last series of conversations, Jack Swigert passed along the crew physical status, reporting that uh, they've taken no medication and are all feeling fine. Uh, prior to that, Fred Hayes uh, gave us an out-the-window description of the Earth and Moon. Fred also played back a short uh, sample of the music that they have on board the spacecraft and reported uh, that the food was fine. Apollo 13 at this time is 137,250 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of 4,219 feet per second. The crew should be beginning their scheduled 10-hour rest period uh, shortly. That rest period is scheduled to begin at uh, a ground elapse time of 37 hours. And they've completed uh, all items in the flight plan uh, necessary to uh, beginning the sleep period. At 36 hours, 52 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston.
Apollo 13. Houston, were you trying to call? Go ahead, Doug. Apollo 13, uh, Houston, we thought you were trying to call, were you? I don't believe so, Mr. Houston, we're going to hit the uh, microphone button. That's some other guy trying to call, Jack. Just trying to get some words in me, Jack. All right, Roger, we saw the uh, down boys subcarrier come on. We... Uh, Thought maybe you're trying to call. Sorry, we hope we haven't disturbed you. And uh, from where I sit, looks like you're running a rest home up there. Good night. Uh, we're all going to bed now. Just after we play the last rendition of With the Eyes on the Stars. Okay, Jim, and uh, we'd like you to check your S-band normal voice switch off. S-band normal off. This is Apollo Control at 37 hours, 11 minutes. Uh, that was Jim Lovell reporting just a few minutes ago that the crew was ready to begin their 10-hour sleep period. That sleep period is scheduled to end at uh, 47 hours, ground elapsed time. Here in Mission Control, astronaut Jack Lausma has replaced astronaut Vance Brand as capsule communicator. 13, uh, we'll be off comp, so if you need a set of crew alert, please. Okay, Jim, if we need you, we'll send a crew alert, and uh, we'd like to know who's got the duty tonight uh, on the biomed. Is that you? Yeah, I'll be on the biomed. Okay, we copy, and uh, you're spoiling my good record of uh, two watches without saying anything. This is Apollo Control at 38 hours, 8 minutes. The crew is now about uh, one hour into their scheduled 10-hour rest period. Uh, here in Mission Control, the activity has settled down primarily to watching the spacecraft systems. At the present time, Apollo 13 is 140,357 nautical miles from the Earth, traveling at a speed of 4,135 feet per second. 
At 38 hours, 8 minutes, this is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 39 hours, 20 minutes. Uh, we're now some two and a half hours uh, into the scheduled 10-hour rest period. The flight surgeon reports that uh, Jim Lovell appears to be sleeping soundly at this time. Uh, Lovell is the only uh, crewman who is uh, wearing a biomedical harness, according to the uh, plan. And uh, we have uh, almost... Uh, a little more than seven and a half hours remaining in the sleep period. All spacecraft systems continue to function normally at this time. Uh, Apollo 13 now 143,222 nautical miles from Earth, and the spacecraft velocity is 4,059 feet per second. At 39 hours, 21 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 40 hours. Seven hours remain in the crew's sleep period. Apollo 13 is 144,784 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 4,019 feet per second. The latest S-4B impact time update uh, places impact of the third stage of the booster on the lunar surface at 77 hours, 57 minutes, 4 seconds. Predicted coordinates of impact, 2 degrees, 10 minutes south, 28 degrees, 50 minutes west. This is Mission Control, Houston.